Let my mouth be filled with your praise, that I may sing aloud. My lips shall shout for joy when I sing to you, Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today's Mass is offered for Leonidas Castellanos. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I've done and what I've failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Be present to your family, O Lord, we pray, and graciously ensure those you have endowed with the grace of faith an eternal share in the resurrection of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen, filled with grace and power, was working great wonders and signs among the people. Certain members of the so-called synagogue of freedmen, Cyrenians and Alexandrians, and people from Cilicia and Asia came forward and debated with Stephen, but they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. Then they instigated some men to say, we have heard him speaking blasphemous words against Moses and God. They stirred up the people, the elders and the scribes, accosted him, seized him, and brought him before the Sanhedrin. They presented false witnesses who testified this man never stopped saying things against the holy place in the law. For we have heard him claim that this Jesus the Nazarene will destroy this place and change the customs that Moses handed down to us. All those who sat in the Sanhedrin looked intently at him and saw that his face was like that the face of an angel. The word of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law. Though princes meet and talk against me, your servant mediates on your statutes. Yes, your decrees are my delight. They are my counselors. Blessed are they who follow the law of I declared my ways, and you answered me. Teach me your statutes. Make me understand the way of your precepts, and I will meditate on your wondrous deeds. For they who follow the law. Remove from me the way of falsehood, and favor me with your law. The way of the truth I have chosen, 
I have set your ordinances before me. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Please stand for the reading of the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Everyone who believes in the Son has eternal life, and I shall raise him up on the last day, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. But I told you that although you have seen me, you do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me. And I will not reject anyone who comes to me. Because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it up on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him up on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sometimes we like to stay in our comfort zone, right? We stay in that little box, and we don't want to leave the safety and comfort of, of that safe place that we create for ourselves. We don't want to be uncomfortable, right? So we stay in our little box where we're comfortable and safe. In the early church, after Jesus' resurrection, there were a good number of people who believed in Christ. At the same time, they were persecuted. This was going on during the early church. People who believed the disciples, they were, they knew it was a dangerous time for them. They were being captured and persecuted, put in prison. They knew that to have faith in Christ Jesus, there was risk in that. 
But that risk was worth it. It was worth everything. It was worth even their lives. Jesus came to earth to do his Father's will. We just heard this. And that can be dangerous. It can seem awful even to make us feel nervous and anxious. You know, maybe that's not a good idea to follow that. I could, there's risk. But God knows what's best for us. And that's what Jesus tells us. He says he's here to do his Father's will and that he must follow his Father's will. And he knows what we need. Sometimes we think, you know, I know, I know what's best for me, right? And we make all these plans. But, you know, God doesn't always share the same plan for, for us that we have for ourselves. And he knows what's best for us. He wants to show us the light through the darkness that's in our world. Sometimes what we want, our will, leads to darkness. But God will help us through, to navigate through the challenges and frustrations of life. The apostles, they were confronted with so, with such terrible persecution. But they were happy. They believed in Jesus. And there was joy in that belief, even because of them being persecuted. There was joy. They knew their faith, their faith in Jesus Christ was worth the risk to even their own lives. Today in our society today is godless. You know, it puts a lot of pressure on us to join them. It wants us to think that that's a better way to live. But that's not safe for us as believers, as, of, as Catholics, to live that way. Amen. Father, we now offer you our prayers for our needs and the needs of the world. For missionaries, may God grant them strength and grace to endure their hardship as they preach God's love for all people. Let us pray to the Lord. For our world, may Christ's peace touch the hearts of leaders and influencers and lead them to harmony. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who are ill and homebound, may Christ the divine physician bring them strength and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. For all members of our faith community, May the Lord increase in us the, a spirit of hope and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. For all the faithful departed, may they soon join the risen Christ in the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. And today we pray in a special way for Leonidas Castellanus, for whom this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. For world peace, we pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer. For peace throughout our country, we pray to the Lord. Father, we thank you for hearing our prayers. 
and answering them by your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way. When supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Cardinal Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, and in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As you await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The Lord has risen and shown his light upon us, whom he has redeemed by his blood. Alleluia.
Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Our novena prayer to St. Jude. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O glorious Apostle, St. Jude Thaddeus, true relative of Jesus and Mary, I salute you through the most sacred heart of Jesus. Through this heart I praise and thank God for all the graces he has bestowed upon you. Humbly prostrate before you, I implore you through this heart to look down upon me with compassion. Despise not my poor prayer, let not my trust be confounded. To you, God has granted the privilege of aiding mankind in the most difficult cases. O oh, come to my aid that I may praise the mercies of God. In all my life I will be grateful to you and will be your faithful client until I can thank you in heaven. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. St. Jude, help of those in difficulties, aid me in my distress. Pray for us that we before death may expiate all our sins by sincere repentance and the worthy reception of the Holy Sacrament. Pray for us that we may appease the divine justice and obtain a favorable judgment. Pray for us that we may be admitted into the company of the blessed, to rejoice in the presence of our God forever. Most holy apostle, Saint Jude Thaddeus, faithful servant and friend of Jesus, the name of the traitor who delivered our beloved master in the hands of his enemies has caused you to be forgotten by many. But the church honors and invokes you universally as the patron of difficult cases. Pray for me, make use, I implore you, of the particular privilege accorded to you to bring visible and speedy help where there is almost despair. Come to my assistance in this great need that I may receive the consolation and aid of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations, and sufferings, particularly and that I may bless God with you and all the elect throughout eternity. I promise you, O blessed Jude, to be ever mindful of this great favor, and I will never cease to honor you, special and powerful patron, and to do all in my power to encourage devotion to you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven.
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. St. Jude, that is, pray for us and for all who invoke your aid. 